Hi guys, uh, welcome to Monday. Well, I was gonna, we usually say season four episode, whatever it is, but it literally is, we have no idea what episode we're in now. Uh, so it is considered Monday, all right? Um, so welcome back, hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, we got a, a good one for you today. So we'll start off with a nice little warm up, four minutes worth. Uh, you're going to start off with uh, 10 alternating pike sit-ups. So left arm reaches for the right foot, right, arm, or right hand reaches for the left foot, so on and so forth to get 10 reps in. Once you're done that, you're going to do 10 pike jumps. So the bottom end of the burpee, very similar to the topless burpee, but your chest does not have to touch the floor. <laughs> and then uh, 10 toe taps. So it's that good morning style, single-legged, reach for the toe, opposite leg goes straight up as high as you can to get a nice little stretch in the back hamstring. All right, so you're gonna do that for four minutes worth, get you into your movement prep, and then uh, we'll get into uh, the workout today. Workout is first. So, today's workout, five rounds. We got 30 kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings, whatever you have. So you're gonna grab your dumbbell, two-handed, kettlebell if you have it at home, and you're literally just pulling, heaving through the hips, getting that dumbbell or kettlebell overhead. All right, 30 reps of those into seven sit-up rises. So it's your generic sit-up with your arms locked out, straight overhead, and then you're just gonna push that dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you have, up straight up towards the sky, and you extend those shoulders like you're finishing a, a thruster. All right, and then you do seven of those. Once you're done your seven, you're gonna stand up, and you're gonna do 10 single arm devil's press. So you do your burpee, pull that dumbbell into your legs, heave through the hips like a dumbbell snatch, and finish overhead. Right. Key thing for this is make sure your lower back uh, keeps its natural curve, all right, so you keep the, the stability in your core. So you're gonna do that. Once you finish those three exercises, you're gonna run outside for 200 meters. So if you don't know what 200 meters is, it's about 30 seconds out, 30 seconds back. That'll give you a, a good gauge on uh, your 200 meter distance. If you don't have an area easy, accessible to get outside and run, you can find a cardio piece that you want to do for a minute straight. So whether it's high knees, butt kicks, burpees, jumping jacks, split jacks, whatever you want, even penguin hops, double unders, um, you're gonna do that for about a minute straight on the timer, and then you'll get into your second round, third round, so on and so forth. All right, so like I said, five rounds, 30 swings, seven sit-up rises, 10 single devil's press, and then a 200 meter run. The cap for this is 20 minutes, so it's gonna be a little bit of a push for you, but it's a, it's a great workout. All right, other than that, hope you enjoy the day. Check out the side hustle. Um, got a good one for you today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, look at that, I'm all discombobulated. The aerobic capacity, that's because we were talking about how this is gonna be all outdoors. Ha! Yes! Aerobic capacity! Okay, let me retr re re uh, retract a little bit, I guess. Reculé. Uh, <laughs> So you're gonna be running outside. So if you're doing a cardio piece in the workout, eh, you're still getting outside for a nice little run. Um, you got a 200 meter re regular pace, and then you're gonna go into a 400 meter regular pace, and then you're gonna go into a 800 meter regular pace. Now, when I say regular pace, your 200 meters is legitimately what that is. Your 400 meters, you're trying to beat the regular pace from 200 meters. So for example, if it takes you two minutes to run 200 meters, double that for your 400 meters and that's what your pace should be. So four minutes to finish 400 meters. And then same thing for the 800 meter run, should be eight minutes for your 800 meter run if we're using the same numbers, okay? You're gonna do that twice. Now, between each run you have a nice little break. So you're gonna run your 200 meter pace, two minute break, you're gonna go out and try to beat your 400 meter time then you get a nice two minute break, and then you're gonna dry it and get out there for your 800 meter time, and then you, after that you get a four minute break, and you're just gonna repeat that a second time, all right? So the push is actually gonna get a little bit tougher as uh, the distance gets longer, but you do have a, a long recovery uh, period for yourselves. All right, is that it? Okay, I hope that's it, that's all. We don't have piece number two or three in this video. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the day, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>